In this video, we provide the solution to question number seven for the practice final exam for math 1210. Uh, we're given a table to represent a function f of x, where the first row of the table is the domain of f, and then the second row of the table is the corresponding output of those values. So for example, f of 10 is negative 12, f of 22 is one, f of 30 is eight in that manner. So using this table as our definition of x, we need to approximate the definite integral from 14 to 26 of f of x dx. And we're gonna approximate this using R3, which as a reminder, R3 is the right endpoints uh, with three subdivisions. So let's look at the interval we're going for. So we are going for the interval 14 to 26. All right, so here's 14 on the left, here's 26 here on the right. Uh, because we're using R3 for this one, that means N equals three, which tells us our delta X is gonna equal 26 minus 14 over three, for which when we do the arithmetic there, we're gonna get 12 over three. That is, we get a delta X of four. So there's gonna be four steps between each of those places. And so if we take four steps from 14, we're gonna get 18. If we take four more steps, we get to 22. And if we take four more steps, we're gonna get 26. So in terms of our number line, this right here is x0, x1, x2, and x3. If we're using the right endpoint rule to approximate this, we need to figure out what is happening at x1, at x2, and x3. Therefore, r3 is going to equal delta x times f of x1 plus f of x2 plus f of x3. That's what we get for R3. So let's plug in these values that we now know. We've computed delta X, which is equal to four. F of X1, if we look at the table, is a negative two. F of X2 is a one. And F of X3 is going to be three itself. So let's see what happens here. One and three together is four. Minus two is gonna be two. So we end up with four times two, which is gonna be eight. And so we see that the correct answer would then be D which is the R3 approximation of the area under this function.